Whilst the exterior of their home is now crystallizing nicely, Andrew and Marisa really need to follow suit with some clear ideas for their interior. To help them, I'm sending them upstream to Roxham Broad in Norfolk to visit an innovative self-build that's distinctive both inside and out. My goodness. What an amazing setting, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. They're fairly similar to us in terms of pitched roof. Yeah. This triple pitched cedar shingle three bed home was built in 2016 by architect Patrick Michel with the aim of emulating the style of nearby boathouses. The result is a contemporary layout spread through the property's three bays where changing views of the water are the main focus for the entire interior. Hi there. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> what a staircase. The house grabs your attention straight away. The entrance opens into a hallway where a spiralling staircase ascends through the light-filled double-height space. I love the staircase. We kept the entrance hall just a very simple volume and then we've got a really nice sculptural feature here. I think we've not even thought about it though, wasn't it? No, we haven't. We've always thought of a sort of a, a, a traditional staircase. It would be a lovely feature, yeah. wouldn't yeah. it? A large barn-style sliding door wow. opens to reveal the central bay, which houses the spacious kitchen and dining area. The black and white kitchen, marble effect worktop, and a bespoke oak dining table with bench seating makes this a stylish and flexible space, robust enough for busy family life. It was just such a lovely light area. Oh, it's really important to have that in a yeah. um, family home. An expanse of glazing yields panoramic views of the secluded lagoon and a deep canopy creates a sheltered outdoor area. The kitchen flows into a third section, where a central fireplace separates the lounge from an elevated study. I have never seen anything with a wood burner in like this before. We wanted a, a feature and it's also used to divide the room, so we've got the sort of living space here and then the sort of study space. It's about creating zones within a bigger volume. Striking oversized pendant lights draw attention to the soaring pitched ceilings as part of a well-executed lighting plan. There are two bedrooms on this level and a large family bathroom. The neutral tones and textures of the ground floor continue upstairs into the master bedroom suite. Oh, wow. So I think with the wide, tall spaces, it's really important how we, how we furnish it. So we've sort of picked out the bed there with a a big sort of feature headboard yeah. um, and create another little sort of uh, softer zone here. So otherwise things can start to look a bit, a bit lost in the, in the larger yeah. rooms. Patrick's home combines functional family living spaces with show-stopping features, a trick Marisa and Andrew are also keen to pull off. The spiral staircase has really given me food for thought. Um, I hadn't even considered that. That is a stunning piece of architecture in there. Yeah, I'd like to really go home and think about that one. Yeah, yeah. 